So Splatterball was nice enough to send me an SRB1200 with their new Pyro Mag and their Pyro Gels. So I showed you some videos of it in stock format with those. And of course that Pyro Mag's got that UV light in it, really helps those glow gels light up nice. And then I wanted to take this SRB1200 and take it way over the top, right? So I already had this idea for kind of a strike face mod. And um, I'd already kind of started that and about halfway through I'm like, you know, it'd be really cool if I could reuse those front LED lights that are built in because it's already got the board in there for the LED lights. I thought, you know, it'd be cool. How about if those LED lights are the eyes of a skull? So since I already had the strike face on, what I thought is I'll just put a skull right on the front there. So then you can see they light up like that. So I thought that was a really cool idea, right? So now we got the skull lit up on the front. We've got the skull fake suppressor flash hider. So I decided let's come, let's incorporate skulls, right? So we got a Punisher skull grip. We got a little skull logo here too. So I'm really like, and actually there's even a skull logo on the back of the riser. So this was just kind of a creation of mine. I used a kit that was out there for free on Thingiverse and then modified it heavily. So really the only thing I used from that kit is this top rail piece and then these side pieces. But then I put knurling over them just because, I don't know, that was just my idea to do. And when you use knurling, then it can really minimize the finish work you have to do when it comes to sanding and stuff, which can be a pain with 3D printing, right? So, here it is, definitely pretty cool to have that skull on there. There you go, you can see it a little better in the light now. Like I said, you got your grip here, and you can see over here, right? And then I just went to a battery in the buffer tube because I built this out so this could actually maintain a grip well. In the past, you've got that battery door down there. You can't just really throw a, a rail on that battery door. It's just not strong enough to hold anything like that. So instead, I basically built out a frame almost that, you know, definitely it, like a C right here that goes on over the front. And of course it attaches through here and attaches to the top. You can see what I did with these pieces. So you didn't necessarily need to pop those off. Um, but since I did, and since I showed you before that some of those pieces break, I drilled them out and then I used heat inserts in those spots because there were some longer areas where you could put heat inserts in. And what I mean by a heat insert is, let me grab one if I can, it's basically a little nut like this that you heat up and melt it into the plastic and that's what the bolt grabs into. So those work where there's enough plastic. And then I use rivet nuts like this if there's not enough plastic and then I build them up some, somehow with spacers or whatever. So because I wanted to attach this piece really good and strong into the blaster, I built up some rivet nuts that are inside that battery compartment and, and basically permanently affixed there using you know glue and other means. And that way this is bolted up in there nice and tight so that this is very secure, right? Otherwise, we got screws. These are nuts and bolts too. So everything is really made super solid on this blaster so that it's gonna last a long time and it's still very strong. All right, the color scheme, um, kind of went with that because it matched nicely and I already had some pieces painted out some of those colors uh, for a different build that didn't work out. So since I had those, I thought, oh, I have a lot of rail. I had these pieces of rail. I had the stock. So this HK stock turned out to be kind of a pain because this pad back here is a different material that doesn't take paint. So it was just really staying sticky. It would never dry. I mean, it looked fine until you touched it. So I had to then eventually basically just clean that off and get that back to black, which is fine because we got some black going on in other places, right? And then of course, I just kept these pieces orange. I kept this area the same color, right? Instead of painting that out, because I think it works out nicely. And then tied in again, the skull there. Now what I really think will be fun to do is use this with a tracer and the pyro mag. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna put the tracer on there, the pyro mag, and then you're gonna have the light up eyes too, which are definitely cool. So 
I hope you guys like it. I think it's really cool. It was definitely uh, fun building this out. I had to custom print and measure a lot of pieces. I didn't have to reprint too many, so that was kind of nice. Um, and the ones I did didn't take forever because that can be demotivating when you print something and then it's off slightly and then you have to decide whether you want to try to make it work or you want to redo it so it looks, you know, almost perfect. And that's typically what I opt for is redoing it. So that was good. Um, but yeah, if, you know, when it comes to STLs, I don't have like an STL for this kit. This is so many different pieces that I put together and that I built on my own. And, you know, again, the only pieces that I got off uh, Thingiverse were this long piece that goes all the way up there. And then these side pieces, right? The rest were all things that I created, even the buffer tube attachment. Of course, the battery is back there now too. Um, yeah, so hope you guys like it. I think it's really cool. Be interesting to see what Splatterball says. I didn't customize any of the internals. I thought about putting a different spring in there, but I didn't. I left it all stock. I wanted to make sure it worked really nice. And, you know, these um, are not crazy powerful. They're in that 200 to 220 range. So I'm really leaning towards giving this away eventually too. So that's kind of my plan. Comments, questions, post them below. Let me know what you think. Of course, come back and watch the demo videos. I'll try to do an uh, outside demo video in the light, and then I'll try to make sure I do a dark demo video where we got the pyro mag, and then we put a tracer too. So we got everything going on. We got the lights on the in the skull. We'll have the pyro mag, and we'll have the tracer. All right, thanks, Larry. thanks for your support. Make sure you comment, like, share, and participate in those monthly giveaways. Thanks.